Sorry if all you can hear is the dishwasher, but I think I might start making videos about my experience with the keto diet because I've been on it for um, about a month now and I've lost 17 pounds. I haven't exercised in this whole month, actually for like two months because I've been very, very busy since I was fired from my job. I'm working for my parents down in the valley, but I live in fucking like Round Rock. During the week, I drive down to the valley and I work for my parents and then on the weekends I come back up to Round Rock and I'm taking uh, real estate classes. I'm halfway to getting my license so I have no time <laughs> to work out. Like I'm just fucking exhausted. So much travel time in the fucking car which is fine just I hate going to the valley. Since I've been doing this diet um, it's been pretty fucking awesome. I'm the type of person who talks with their mouthful I'm the type of person that fucking hates going to the gym. Like I have to really, really motivate myself. And mostly it's when somebody else like guilts me into going to the gym or I have somebody to go with me, then I'm like, all right, I can go to the gym. But like, I just, I fucking hate it. And I've always been trying to look for that like quick fix diet where I don't really have to do shit and I can still eat stuff that I want and still lose weight. Um, and I believe I've found that and it's not that this is like a quick fix diet It's just it changes the way that your body burns Stuff for fuel <laughs> It's a high fat low carb diet. So like 70% of my diet uh, consists of fat uh, good fats and then like 20 to 25 percent of it is protein um, and then the rest is carbs if I have to eat them. It's okay to like not eat any carbs at all. But, so, if you don't know anything about keto, uh, when you stop consuming carbs, your body, and you start eating a lot of fat, your body switches modes and your liver starts producing these thing called, things called ketones, um, which makes you burn fat for fuel instead of carbs. And my experience with it so far, I am by no means a fucking expert. I just, this is my experience with it thus far. I did have a little bit of the keto flu, which is when you withdraw from carbs, you get like fatigue and other symptoms. I mainly just had f fatigue and it only lasted a couple of days because I was getting sodium and magnesium and an electrolytes to kind of combat it. Um, so you just got to pay attention to that stuff. Ever since I've you know been in ketosis. I haven't had a fucking cheat day or even a cheat snack like I'm very strict about it, and it's not hard to be strict about it. I don't feel like I'm deprived of anything. I fucking eat bacon um, butter on motherfucking everything which is amazing. I discovered the other day While I was cooking chicken with butter. I decided to throw some fucking mushrooms in the mix I was like I fucking like mushrooms and then I took a bite of one of the mushrooms and it was like, I don't know, the heavens opened up, man. And I, it's the most amazing thing I've ever tasted in my fucking life. I had never had mushrooms cooked with butter before because I've been raised under this like, oh, butter is not good for you. And so like literally I didn't even know people would butter their toast or their pancakes or something because my mom wouldn't let me fucking eat it. Uh, but I love butter. I put two to three tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of coconut oil in my coffee, melt that, and then I put some French vanilla creamer in it. Um, and that's usually my breakfast, not all the mushrooms and stuff, but like the, the coffee. And then um, if I'm hungry enough or I want to get my protein in, I'll boil some eggs and just fucking eat them with some salt on it to help me get my sodium. And then it, I'm full because once your body stops, you know, living on these fucking carbs, I don't know if you've noticed where if you eat something, you're hungry almost immediately, but that's how I was. I would eat like a huge fucking meal full of fucking carbs and everything. And then 30 minutes later, I would be hungry again and I wouldn't understand. I'm like, how the fuck? I just ate this huge meal. And now since it's not a bunch of unnecessary, like, carbs and shit, my body knows when it's full, like it actually gets the correct signals <laughs> to the brain and everything. And so the other day I fucking ordered a bunless burger from some fucking restaurant that I was in. It was an eight ounce patty and I couldn't finish the last two bites of that patty because I was 
stuffed. Like I was like, I need to unbutton my fucking pants and like, oh my God, I am full. Okay. And that's how this diet is. It's amazing. I no longer feel like I am a fucking slave to food. And I eat out of necessity now. So it's like I eat my protein and I get all my, all my macros in for the fucking day. Um, and that I'm good. And I haven't been to the fucking gym in the last two months and I've lost 17 fucking pounds. Once my schedule gets more under control and I have time for the gym again, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, to help with it, but I was I was so unhappy with the way I was looking. I had just 2017 was a rough motherfucking year for me, and uh, I definitely ate my feelings. I got up to my heaviest which I've ever weighed, which was 220 pounds, and I'm I'm six foot one, so it's not like massively overweight or anything. But I felt disgusting. Um. And one day I just took before pictures of myself and I'm like, I'm fucking done with this. And then after Thanksgiving, my boyfriend and I started uh, the keto diet and we've both been doing really strong on it. He's lost something like 26 pounds, I think, but he's he's been going to the gym and stuff as well. But I feel way more fucking energetic. I, my, I feel like my head is clearer. My memory is actually getting better. I've had the shittiest memory for the last, I don't even know how long, and now it's like, I can actually remember things. So that's, that's pretty dope. I'm gonna take a bite of my egg. One of my absolute favorite things that I found, um, since I've started this diet, I have been lucid dreaming like crazy. I've been able to lucid dream in the past, um, and for a while, I was really good at it, and I was lucid dreaming, like, every night. And then, for some reason, like, I, I started having trouble falling asleep. And then, if I would fall asleep and start dreaming and realize that I'm dreaming, I would immediately wake up. And it was really bumming me out. Because I love to lucid dream. That's, that's like, it's my time to just go around and do whatever the fuck I want. And uh, my brother died in February of this year. And so, when I get to lucid dream... I get to see him and spend time with him and I know you know it's not real but it's nice and so I've been lucid dreaming like every fucking night I've been sleeping really fucking well before I started the diet I had such a hard time falling asleep like I would lay there awake for hours and now I can literally head on the pillow and I'm knocked the fuck out like it's amazing so um, I think I'm going to kind of document this little journey that I'm on. Um, and hopefully if anybody is interested in starting keto, maybe they can see my experience and help them make a decision or not. But so far I'm very fucking happy with this diet. So <laughs> until next time, you like the egg in my teeth? Hey.